You may have heard of the many jokes about the people of Western Kenya and chicken, popularly known as Ingoho. Chicken, a delicacy across the world, is the backbone of Western Kenya culturally and now economically as well. In Kenya, most rural families have since time immemorial reared chickens for eggs and meat during special occasions. These would be consumed but not necessarily sold. With increased rural urban migration, there's an increased demand for chicken as most people are no longer able to have them in their backyard. To meet this demand, farmers are venturing into chicken farming as a business and finding modern ways of making the most out of this investment. In this episode of Poultry Farming, we visit a farm in Bungoma to find out the secret to success in this venture. Engoho Farm in Bungoma specializes in chicken incubation, rearing, and fruit farming. The farm is also diversifying into production of ducks and geese to increase their income streams. We met Maureen Waswa, the farm manager, who gave us a tour of the farm. Can I produce chicks? From day old up to two months old, here to nauza, to kona incubator. At times to nahashi upper, but mostly to nahashi from Katamega. Then, uh, apart from poultry, to copy na fruits, to kona orchard farm ukoinja, to na produce gooseberry, alafu mangoes grafted, to na fanya pupo production, as well as uh, oranges, zenye ni grafted plus lemons. Our first stop was the border, where she took us through the rearing process right from the arrival of day-old chicks. According to Maureen, a farmer should prepare the brooder prior to arrival of the chicks. A brooder is a heated enclosure for raising baby chicks. The brooder should be kept clean and dustless as it is the chicks' first home. The wood shavings need to be changed regularly as prolonged use of the same wood shavings will lead to production of ammonia gas from the droppings. A farmer should also have a proper feeding system as chicks cannot be fed with food during the first three hours of arrival. So, sir, hapa, penye tuka hapa tunaziyanga na bruda, on poetry management tunaziyanga na bruda. Kama hapa ni faranga wadogo, hapa wakingia kama ni day old, tunaweka chini wood shavings. We prefer wood shavings, this one. Kuliko sawdust kwa sababu, these are dustless. Kingia sikio kwanza hapa, we ask Maureen what types of chicken they keep and why. Breed, okay, we keep uh, improved kienyeji, basically. Advantage uh, improved kienyeji, they are highly resistant to diseases as you can mortality rate in Kukuba Sana. So it makes profit to us for Sababu. Kama on, Mingia, come on, Lifmoja, mortality in Zakoa to come on a So by the time we sell, to na pata profits. I love for Jenna. On feeding, kuzia kama mkulima anezaenda kufanya free range na huko njiju aneza feed on mixture of feeds. Sio za commercial peki yake. Yes, alafu they are also easy to manage as compared to the pure breeds. Exotic. Some people refer to a brooder as mummy chicken as it keeps the chicks warm and provides food all in one place. Maureen takes us through the process through which they rear and feed their chicken in the brooder. No, as from here, to na depend on it. Majorly, to na piana unga feed the fugo because it's highly reliable and also the quality. For na nutrients that are enough. So, hapa, from day old up to two months, to na piana easy commercial feeds. Peke yake. It's focus on vitamins. To na piana skuma wiki. What what you panda? So, what happens to the remaining chicks after the rest are sold at two months? Tunafanya free range. What picture two months? Alafu kwa kwa jauzo wa wote, kwenye wanabaki sawa, tunafanya free range na huko inje. Tumefence, so mchana tunawatua kwa nyumba kutoka sambili, 
mpaka kitu saa kumi alafu tunarudisha so kwa hapo enjoy na feed on grass alafu na grit hiyo sand ni msaidia for digestion purposes so akirudi ndani tunapeatia chakula kesho yake hivyo hivyo occasionally there may be congestion in the brooder and in that case they are forced to separate new chicks from the older chicks by moving them into the deep litter section at between 4 to 5 weeks while maintaining similar conditions of temperature sasa hapa depleter system hapa tulio after just after brooding that's one month or some five weeks that's for five weeks tunajua kwa brooder tunaweka sasa kwa rearing system kama hapa hivi ni depleter tukienda huko hivyo kuna cages kuna ni closer kuna raised flow penye tumetumia wire mesh chini kama flow but hapa ni depleter tuliwatoa huko kwa raised kwa sababu walikuwa overcrowded to some extent then also tuliangalia spacing feeding competition wana compete sana sasa tuka separate from there tukaweka hapa kidogo but kuna za raised from any system yeah but advantage ya depleter hapa ni to change to so you would shavings you can change from 3 to 5 days immediately to wait supper so una change una replace lakini uko kwa cages ziko tu droppings na fall down then tunafagia tuna huko so kiangalia vizuri one advantage and disadvantage kwa raised floor is somehow advantages as compared to this one yeah this is a raised floor sasa tuna tuna prefer the raised floor system kwa sababu ya cleaning sometimes uko kwa depleter system tuna keep changing the wood shavings lakini hapa hakuna kutumia wood shavings wako kwa wire droppings na fall directly on the ground alafu sasa tunapagia na chini sasa hapa juu hakuna any infection inayosababishwa na hiyo uchafu yes so prepare this waste flow system alafu hapa tena kuambukiza ugonjwa si rahisi kwa sababu wakikuwa kwa wood shavings droppings ziki ziki accumulate alafu ammonia gas inaweza kuwa producewa lakini hapa hakuna ammonia gas yoyote on the upper part juu daily tunafagia hivyo tunatoa uchafu sasa hapoezi kuwa na shida yote from a month old the chicks are sold to farmers who can either rear them as free range chicken or for meat or eggs the remaining chicken are reared in the raised floor cages till they are 2 months old before being sold again or reared as free range chicken for eggs and broilers for meat the improved kienyeji variety are multi purpose and are highly resistant to diseases it is also the preferred option by consumers from the region okay from here now avile wamefika age kama hawa ni 1 month old sasa so from here mtu anaweza anunua ananunua from time to time anataka kuje any time so we just sell but tukiuza alafu abaki wengine obviously hawezi uza wote wakibaki tuna keep for production we can either keep them for broilers meat production or rather laying juu kwa sababu ni improved kienyeji tunafanya dual purposes yes so we can choose to sell the eggs to raise up to 16 weeks so this, yeah so it's not 16 weeks really up to 4 months to 5 months alafu tuanze kuupeana watage kama ni layers but tukiamua wakwe broilers tuna keep up to 4 months then we sell for meat The customers are mostly cooperatives like the One Acre Fund and farmers from the region who buy the chicken for between 150 Kenyan shillings to 250 Kenyan shillings depending on how old the chicken is. Farmers who buy from this farm benefit from free training on how to rear the chicken. The training is offered regularly every first or last Saturday of the month. Okay, our customers are always the cooperatives sana sana. Kwa mfano sasa tuna watu na waneka fund. Kwa sasa wamebook over 4000 so ndo tuna raise alafu after 2 months after brooding that is wanachukuliwa. So wanaanza kufeed on growing period from 4 months and so. Alafu pia our customers are just local. Locals ni kilimanyote mwenye anakutaka anakuja anapata mafunzo 
alafu tunamuzia then we follow up we normally give the extension services also so tunaenda tunamtrain on how to make a structure alafu akichukua bado tunafuatilia on vaccination and so on yeah a brooder should always have three important things flooring feeders and waterers Maureen explains to us her choice of the three as well as how to maintain the brooder. Hapa tuna prefer wood shavings kwa sababu it's dustless. Ukiangalia vizuri the sawdust iko na ile dust. Na kwa sababu gani tunatumia wood shavings? Ni kwa sababu wood shavings it absorbs the droppings, ile moisture from the droppings. Na pia it takes some it gives a farmer some time before it's changed off. So it's not me here. And then that sawdust. Kwa sababu kitumia sawdust, sometimes unapata inakuwa na breathing problems kwa sababu once wako confined, hawatoki nje. So hiyo dust ikiingia kwa macho, kwa mapala kwa na cause hiyo ugonjwa inaitwa infectious bronchitis. Wanakuwa na breathing problems, alafu wanaza kukohoa. So and it has high mortality in zaua.